I'm going to show you in this video how to change the focus settings to get a nice depth of field effect in my video. So I brought in a new scene. As you can see, uh, this is a marketplace scene that's free. You can bring it in, clean it up like I've shown you in the past. Uh, every time you create a scene, you can create a new sequence with it. Make sure uh, that you have the scene open. Create the, se the uh, sequence. Go under uh, Cinematics, Level Sequence. And as usual, when you create a new sequence, make sure you use uh, naming conventions. In this case, I know this is, I'll pretend it's the third clip in my video. And my character is in there. I'm going to drag in, uh, actually right on the timeline. I made a little mistake there. Under animation, all the animations that are brought in are still there that are ta targeted to this character. And so I see there he is doing the nod. Um, one thing I... I'll, I'll, I might as well get a second animation and just blend them together. It came in on a second line. You don't want to do that. You want to put them on the same line because that what that does is it blends the two animations together. See, and if we check, you do a little scrub through. looks pretty good, so I'm very happy with that. We're going to change this to 24 frames per second because all our others are at 24 frames and show times as seconds. And um, I'm going to move this red line to the end of my clip. It's about four seconds long. Um, you know, you need to basically uh, make sure of that. I'm going to name my camera Cam1. Um, and now I'm also, you see it's really out of focus. I'm going to place the camera where I want. Uh, and everything in the background is in focus with this kind of camera. But once I, I zoom and focus on the character, you're going to see a big change. So I'm going to click on these little bottom arrows. Brings me to the beginning of my scene. Very useful way to do that. Uh, I'm going to click on the camera I want it there, basically. Did a keyframe. So current focal length is 35 millimeter lens, which is a standard lens, which looks okay, but it's not exciting. And whenever you know you have access to nicer um, and changes to 16 by 90 SLR, by the way. And so I want to. There's lens settings here, but I usually do it over here. I find it's way easier. So the aperture is 2.8. Um, if you don't know what that means, go look up some photography videos. Uh, 150 millimeter lens. And you see right away it changes. I might have to go and re-keyframe the camera here, I just realized. But he's really out of focus, but we're going to fix that in a second. So I'm going to, I shouldn't have kicked, I'll fix that in a second. So go, select. Um, now I had created a keyframe on that, but I'm going to delete the old keyframe. So do that. Actually, that, that works fine. So make sure you key them both. I'm going to zoom out, but as soon as you zoom out, you see what happens. You're going to have to recreate a focus and, um, also I'll create a keyframe for where the camera is. And oopsie, I should have done, I forgot to create my transform keyframe for my camera in the first position. Um, so let's fix that. I'm going to zoom back in. There you go. Wherever I think is a nice shot. Click that there. I'm going to have to delete this and re-create uh, the focus. Use the eyedropper tool. And now I'm going to move it to where the other one camera moves. And again, use the eyedropper tool, select them, and uh, what did I do here? Oh, yeah, probably help if I added a keyframe. Let's do that again. Right here. And there we go. Now that looks perfect. So that's that's exactly. So when you move it, you got to make sure to re-keyframe the focus. Otherwise, it'll be out of focus. But it creates a nice depth of feel. Well, this scene is not all that exciting. But if you had some fog and so on, uh, it would just look out of this world. And maybe we'll cover that in a later video. So that's kind of the whole point. You got this depth of field. Everything in the back is, it looks very cinematic. Again, if you had a nicer environment. But there you go.